hi guys welcome to my channel power bi with rosh my name is rosh and today we're going to learn about how to create a virtual relationship in power bi um, in power bi sometimes when you are creating a, a report you come into a situation where you can't create a relationship between um, two tables um, for example uh, we have a i'll show you the data set we have we have a country data set that has a country ID and respective country name. If I go to branch, each branch, there is a country ID assigned to each um, branch and we have a branch name as well. And I can see there is a country ID one for all branches. So for one, that, will, that means all of these branches belong to country Australia. And we have finally a sales table. In sales table, we have a country code, we have branch IDs, and we have sales um, generated for that branch ID. Okay, so we can see there are different countries here. You can see one and three, and one and three we have India. So when I try to create a relationship between these three data set. So I drag the country to the branch country, right? And in the cells, we have a country column as well. So if I drag that to over here, and I can create a relationship between those two as well. But when I try to create a relationship between branch and sales table, it says you can't create a relationship because there's there already exists a relationship between these two table which is country and cell so either you have to delete this relationship right and make this relationship active or you find a some other ways okay but yeah uh, there are different ways to do it but in this tutorial I'm gonna show you uh, a way we can create a relationship without any relationship defined so like basically a virtual relationship so I'm going to ignore this branch data set for this tutorial I'm gonna make it as simple as possible so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to so I'll show you the data set so this is the data set from just the sales table as you can see on the right hand side these are the data for from only the sales table so what I'm trying to achieve, what I'll, what, what I'll do in this tutorial is that my final goal is to get the country name, right? And I want the total sales, which is the sum of sales, uh, is a major which sums all the sales. So I want a how much sales we have generated for each country so uh, we can see we have only Australia and India so the rest of the country should uh, show us zero over here and for Australia and India it should show the respective sales for that country uh, please remember I haven't created any relationship so I'm going to create a virtual relationship and I'm going to do that using a DAX function called treat as so I'll just quickly do that. I'll just create a new measure in any of the table. I'll go country table, okay. So in this measure, I'm going to say it's country cells, okay. And I'm going to calculate, use calculate function. And I'm going to calculate total sales, which is the sum of all sales. Okay, so if I just leave it like as it is, it's going to give me exactly the same result as this. Not, not, not. It's not going to change anything. I'll just quickly delete these cells over here and drag and drop the country cells instead. It's going to give me the same output because it's the same. We haven't made any changes, but this is fun now because now I can create a virtual relationship read using a true function dax function called treat as now what treat as takes is it takes uh expression and a uh, column name okay so what we can do to create a virtual relationship is basically we define the values as an expression values of country okay so what values function does it 
does is it takes all the values from the country table and column country okay all the values and we treat all these values of country call table country as a uh, for is the same so sales country column sales table country column treat these values in the country table as same as the one in the sales table so both of the columns treat as the same so now if we do that it's going to give us the values the sales total sales for Australia and India and that's pretty cool right we haven't even created any relationship between those tables and we have already got the sales for the country without any relationship so that's how you can create a virtual relationship in power bi without defining any relationship now if i, I can go for the other countries i can go if um so i can i can say very i can declare variable for this say variable country um C sales, I will say C sales equals to uh, calculate our expression, and I'm going to return if if is blank, which is the if is, if C sales is blank. So this basically checks if C sales is blank or not, which is the case for other countries. So if the C sales is blank, then zero, else C sales, okay? So if for other countries, I think China and um, Japan, uh, it's gonna give us zero and because the C sales is blank for those values and for uh, other countries which for which we have the values, it's gonna return us the uh, respective sales value. So if I save that, it's going to give us zero for China and zero for Japan and that's how we create a virtual relationship in Power BI. That's everything for today. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I up mostly upload uh, trips, tips and tricks videos in Power BI but recently I've started this series uh, where I'm teaching people uh, the basic of mQuery tutorial and I'm going through um, step by step from beginner introduction to step by step all the functions and uh, operators and uh, type conversion in mQuery so please do check out those videos if you are interested in mQuery and I do have a playlist for tips and tricks where you can go and see all the tips and tricks videos awesome tips and tricks videos which can save you a lot of time in Power BI uh, that's everything for today. Um, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time